Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. For those of you who don't know, I do make other videos not pertaining to Supreme. So if you guys haven't uh, checked out the past like three or four videos, make sure you guys go check those out. For those of you who have watched the past couple videos and left comments and left feedback, thank you guys very much. The comment sections in the past couple videos have been a-okay and I appreciate your guys' support. Before we get going, here is all the Instagrams that you can find me on, Supreme Population, that's like buy, sell, trade, supreme aftermarket. If you guys are into anything like that, make sure you go check out Prime Population. Leroy Destroy uh, is my personal account as I'm trying to be more active on YouTube. I'm trying to be more active on my personal as well. So make sure you guys go check that out. And then you can follow Miss Taja, John Renata, Alexandra, and Rami's Instagrams with the shits with the movement go see what the fucking deal is today's video is gonna be a week 12 preview we're gonna get right into it it is a pretty full week so uh without further ado let's get into it there's two collaborations this week we will start with both of those then we will move to the lookbook items and go from there the first announced uh collaboration was with cindy sherman this is a lady that is a little bit older she's in her 60s now but this lady is a badass artist i'm not too familiar with cindy sherman I I have seen and heard of her before Supreme uh, announced the collaboration. I'm not the biggest fan ever, but uh, I am somewhat familiar with her. She does a lot of work uh, pertaining to herself. She uses images of herself and then she morphs them and like changes them. And then that's what the art is. Basically, it's sick. If you guys don't know who she is, go look her up on Instagram and you can see all her work on her Instagram. It's badass. All right. So the first collaboration is with Cindy Sherman and it is two dead and that's it. These decks have so much controversy and talk around them due to the graphics on the decks. Here is both of the decks right here. As you guys saw, we will go one by one right here. This is the first deck right here. Basically, it looks like a bunch of weenies, some uh, like weenies that you can eat, like food, and some weenies that are real weenies. I'm not sure if that's a, a butt plug or a dildo or what that is, but it definitely is a weenie with some ketchup on it. And then it looks like there's some sausage and some cheese and some kind of like breakfast scramble mixed up and uh, that is the first deck and then the second deck uh, is a little more bearable it's like this beach scene there's a lady right here I believe that is her herself Cindy Sherman and it shows like some sand and then it has like a bunch of throw up and a beach towel and some glasses and then a reflection of the person who is laying on the floor these decks are super weird you guys can have your own opinions about them me personally I'm gonna grab both of the decks. Usually decks with like certain artists and certain artwork uh, end up going up in value over time. I'm not the biggest fans of the deck. I'm not going to put the decks on my wall, but I am going to grab the decks for collection purposes and uh, we will just leave that at that. The next collaboration announced was Levi's, which was announced this morning one day after Cindy Sherman and there is coveralls and a denim jacket. Right here are the coveralls. There's three different colors. These are snakeskin. I believe. Let me make sure that I am not wrong. It doesn't say like in the newsletter if it is snakeskin or not. It looks like snakeskin. I don't know. It might be. Yes, I believe that it's snakeskin. So there's a purple set, like an ivory bluish, like ice blue set. And then there's a white set as well. And then on the inside of the coveralls, as you can see on the bottom right here, it is like plaid lined. And then it's the same thing with the jackets, which are right here. It's the same colorways as the coveralls, just in denim jacket form. Of course, they didn't do any pants, uh, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm trying to like grow a little denim collection. I'm not the biggest fan of snakeskin or plaid for that matter. Uh, I do think the jackets are sick, just not for my personal. Both of the collaborations this week are kind of light. I don't think they have the most hype around them, but there they are for you guys, and you guys can have your own opinions, and uh, let me know what you guys think about both of the collaborations. Let's get into the lookbook items. We will go from there. I guess this is not everything that is dropping. I guess this is only partial of the drop list. Jay said that he would drop the rest of the list when he had it or when he could. He has not done that yet. So I'm just going to show you guys what is on his page right now and what is dropping as of this moment. First, we have the jackered puffy jacket. This is the fuck jacket. There is the word fuck F U and then under the F U it says CK. It's like fucked in stacked letters repeated all over 
with a jacket. You guys have probably heard me three or four times since the season started say that I am waiting for this jacket. This is one of my favorite jackets from the entire season. I don't care. Hands down, I am copping off top. This is a beautiful jacket, dude. It does not have a hood on it, but it is down injected and it is a puffy jacket and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if I want the pink or the blue. I do like the blue a lot, but I like the pink as well and I'm just not sure which one I'm going to grab, but this is a beautiful jacket. Estimated retail is probably $298 or maybe $348, somewhere between the low 300s to the high 300s. Probably my favorite item dropping this week for sure. Next, we have some champion stuff. There is multiple champion items dropping this week. All of them are coming from the lookbook. This one is a two-tone varsity jacket or a two-tone work jacket or two-tone puffy jacket, whatever it is. I'm not sure exactly what the material is or how thick and heavy the jacket is. That will definitely uh, make a price difference for sure. On the back of the jacket, there's cut and sewn letters. Those are probably tackle twill letters, all cut and sewn in an ARC logo on the back. It is absolutely beautiful. I do think this jacket is sick, but I am just kind of burnt out on Champion, to be honest. Uh, over the past couple months, dude, there's just been so many brands collaborating with Champion. So many just different people and different avenues wearing Champion. Uh, I've sold some of my Champion stuff. I probably will not be grabbing this, but this jacket is sick. It's color block. It's probably some kind of suede material that I'm not reading. I'm sorry, I, I don't have any of the item names with me. Uh, and then the cut and sewn letters on the back. Uh, it's definitely a sick piece, but I am going to pass for the personal. There's three more champion items. One of those being uh, the hoodie, which is the stacked hoodie. This is an all embroidered hoodie. It's the same graphic that dropped on a hat earlier this season. It's called the stack logo, I guess. It has three champion symbols going down and then champion across all embroidered in like seven or eight colors, as you guys can see right there. Then it's got a little supreme embroidery on the hood. And then there's a stacked long sleeve dropping. It just has like a little athletic patch down at the bottom near your hip. And then it has the stacked logo probably embroidered on the chest area and supreme screen printed down your arm. And then they have stacked sweatpants to match the tees or the hoodies. All of these items come in the same colorways. The hoodie, the tees, and the sweats all in the same colorways. The sweats have the three champion symbols on the thigh area, all embroidered. And uh, yeah, that's most of the champion stuff out of the lookbook is all dropping this week. You guys know about champion. If you don't, it always hits. It always goes. Supreme champion always sells out, does fairly well. So if you guys are looking to cop that, make sure you guys are on it. Probably the most hype things dropping this week are these two accessories right here. It is the wrestling mat and the Everlast boxing robe. Let's go to the mat first. It looks like it's a two-piece mat or a foldable mat and then it's an all red mat. It's got two handlebars on it and it says Supreme that is probably printed all the way across the mat. This is made by Everlast. I'm not sure what the retail on a regular one of these is. I'm assuming this is going to be in the mid to high $200 range and this will probably be the limited item out of the bunch. I just have a feeling that Supreme made not very many of these or if they did then they're all getting backdoored. Uh, but if you're like 20, 30 back in line at Supreme, you're probably not going to get one of these. And uh, these things are probably going to go in one second online. The sellout for these things will probably literally be like four seconds, dude. So I don't know how well copying that is going to go. I'm definitely going to try, but we will just have to wait and see. The next thing is the boxing robe right here. Uh, I want to say that this is going to be limited too, but I have a feeling that they might just go all out and make, I don't know, maybe 200 or 250 in store and uh, have probably an abundance of them online as well. These things without Supreme on them, a regular Everlast like warm up boxing robe goes for a little bit more than $100. So I'm assuming that this one is going to be 198 or 228, 248, somewhere between $200 and $280, I would assume. And uh, this is probably one of the most hyped accessories of the entire season. You have Supreme fully blasted across the back and these look like some kind of like satin or like silky material that you got a robe on it. One of them's fucking cheetah. One of them's red. You got like outlining on the dude. These things are sick with Everlast patches and Supreme blasted across the back. These are going to be a hitter for sure. Everybody in their mom is going to be going for these things without a doubt, dude. So if you guys are looking to cop, make sure you 
are quick. I'm going to try to go for both of them. I'm not sure how well it's going to work out, uh, but we're definitely going to try. My favorite item this week is by far the Fuck Puffy. Uh, I've been waiting for it. I'm excited for it. I'm ready to cop the decks. I want to cop the mat. I want to cop the boxing robe. I'm not sure how it's all going to work out, uh, but we're just going to have to do our best. So make sure you guys let me know in the comments what you guys are going after. Follow me on Instagram at Prem Population. We're probably going to do some kind of poll to see like what two items you guys want most for the page or whatever. So make sure you guys follow that. You can vote on some kind of poll on there as well. And uh, yeah, dude, it's a pretty full week. It's a stacked week. I'm excited. Last week was not uh, the biggest hitter with Akira. The product didn't move so well. And uh, I'm just excited to get back going with week 12, dude. So thank you guys for watching. Again, please subscribe if you are not. I'm going to try to go on a little binge here and put out as many videos as I can. We're going to be doing some vlogs and just studio shit and just all kinds of different shit if you guys are watching already you guys know what the deal is i appreciate all of your guys' support man so make sure you guys tune in subscribe like the video if you did like the video leave some comments down below for sure i got the storage video coming for you guys tomorrow all right i appreciate you all i love you all good luck tomorrow we'll see you on tomorrow's video all right peace